Clayworks was quite kind enough to kind of change the layout completely, right? So we have changed the layout, we removed a lot of uh, the partitions that were there uh, in this office at the time, made it quite open. If you see right now, it's very open. Uh, now we have taken one more floor at the top, uh, right? So that way, I think it came out very well, very scalable, and we will to expand the team from 25 to now 180 member team. So that's good. Yeah. So I'm Jayesh, uh, co-founder and CEO at Brick and Bolt. Um, Brick and Bolt is a managed marketplace that is providing construction services. So uh, our customers are the B2C customers like you and me who is a plot of land who want to construct something on it. So we come once he has a very basic requirement, we help with design and finally we construct the houses. So we have a technology enabled to kind of ensure the construction is being done predictably on time and as per quality. We, we were working in a pure co-working space where there were a lot of companies and we want a somewhat more dedicated space. Um, uh, so Clayworks was at this office, at least was in very heart of the city. In our case, uh, the customers come to office and they meet us. Um, and then with a lot of bricks, it was going very well with brick and bolt logo as well. And so, and so we liked it and we came here. Yeah, so. Uh, we, when we came, I think we were like 25, 27 people team at that time. And of course, after that, COVID struck uh, three, four months after we moved in. Uh, but right now, we are 180, uh, 185 member team at this point of time. So, yeah, so grown decently well, I should say, in last uh, more than two years. So we had this space very close to their uh, existing office, and um, we had. Um, a large setup where they could have expanded to up to even 100, 120 people and um, so we allowed them the flexibility to expand um, from 15, 20 to 30 on demand basis. Um, this was absolutely on demand basis. They gave us future projection of um, how many seeds they would be looking at quarter and quarter um, and during that entire uh, year uh, we were able to plan uh, the rotation of other clients to accommodate their um, expansion and it went pretty well. I, I think the first thing we liked the vibes I think because of this earthy color and all and going very well uh, with, with the and board, right? Um, so one of the things that I first time found that the tea was freshly prepared, we, we like that. Uh, and a lot of customers comes to our office as I said, right? So we really want somebody to serve the tea, coffee uh, to the customer and the guys have been very kind enough to do that. Um, we have a small, uh, the pantry thing and, and being served and all. So I think all, all that has been making a decision. So then uh, uh, we wanted some kind of an enjoyment for this folks, so the football dipper and everything has been added up. So yeah. So we are like a partner uh, for our client. Um, either we help them grow in the same space by taking additional um, uh, space, or we do forward-looking planning and look at. Um, if we are not able to accommodate them in the existing facility, we look out for something which is uh, nearby, similar micro market or something that works with the client and do it for them. So uh, yeah, a lot of hand holding with the client in terms of um, their expansion plan. Uh, but yeah, I'm extremely happy that my team was able to do that. We had this thermal screening when we started and um, all those uh, sanitizers were there and the sprays were happening. So I think that helped. Uh, um, so sanitizer, I mean typically we have got a lot of these contractors coming up and customers coming up, right, and meeting us. So the sanitization part was being done before the entry of the gate. So that was being helped. So I think they, that was well covered off at that time, whatever is required. Their office is a high footfall office. Uh, so obviously we had to give uh, enough confidence to not only their employees but to their vendors, contractors, clients that it's um, it's going to be a very safe space. So we took multiple um, sanitization protocols uh, that was quite unique to that space um, in terms of number of uh, times we were sanitizing the entire premise. Uh, that office is a touchless office. Uh, you don't, we don't have physical switches. Uh, you know, 
lights, captive sensor driven um, uh, air conditioning lights. So that worked pretty well in, in their favor. I think it, that's the whole reason why you go to any managed uh, space, right? You you don't want to have, uh, I mean, you don't want to have high capex, right? So of course that that uh, that helped, and we have to only pay for the seats that we are doing. Now, for example, we have gone to the top floor, we're only paying for the seats that we are occupying, right? So it always helps to manage your cash flows and reduce the spends, yeah.